it's Rowan and today I'm here with my dad, Robin. Hi everyone. So my dad doesn't actually know what I'm what this video is going to be about and what we're going to talk about a today. A worry. Yeah, I know. He's been a bit worried about it. Um, but it's going to be fine. It's about something that we haven't actually talked about in a long time. Um, for, since it happened, about eight years, something like that. So, we're going to be talking about coming out and me coming out to you. Oh, right. How did I come out to you? I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> you went to said, oh, by the way, this is my flag and I'm going to Pride. Was that it? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. How? Okay. So for anyone who's... I feel like coming out is such a big thing for a lot of LGBT people. And it's especially coming out to their parents and stuff. And you don't even remember. But, in your defence, neither do I. <laughs> I genuinely do. I was That's kind of hoping... Program, I was kind of it. hoping that you'd remember so I'd be like, Oh yeah, of course that happened. So I went to Pride first before I was out. I think we had a good idea before that. Okay, more about, more okay, about. so what, how did you know? Or how, why did you think? Because I feel like I'm not very butch or anything, so it wasn't a kind of stereotypical thing, right? No, I think it was more about your conversation, talking about news, talking about events, talking about sticking up for people's rights. So I have my older brother, my father's son, that's how families work, um, is gay as well. And he'd come out to you before I'd ever come out to you, because he's a lot older. Yeah. Did you ever, like, did you think that it was just that I was just kind of sticking up for my brother rather than, like, me being gay? No, no, not at all. I think we, we knew, but it was a case of, it didn't matter, you know, as long as you were happy. It doesn't matter to us whether, you know, having, and you know, what's another gay person in the family? It's just <laughs> another gay person. <laughs> Just another one, just collecting them all yes. like Pokemon. <laughs> well, we've had gay, we've had gay people in the family, ooh, back in the fifties, which didn't end well. Um, this is not something you've told me about. No, right? well, unfortunately, it was one of my uncles who, um, or my mum's uncles. Unfortunately, the pressures in the fifties, forties, and fifties, yeah. uh, and he did unfortunately kill himself. When was that? Oh when I was maybe five or six. But they, like, everyone in the family knew? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're very accepting, aren't we? I mean, that's, yeah. that's what we are as parents, and we always have been. I worry about you, possibly sometimes, if you're going somewhere, and the same with Matt, because you don't know politically what's happening on the streets. Um, you don't always know if you're going somewhere that can be called safe. Mm -hmm. I assume... Britain is safer than some parts of the world. In a way, I'm not a typical dad, I suppose, yeah. or, uh, because of my background with the studio, music industry, film industry. Yeah. I had some friends, even at school, uh, a couple of guys who were gay, uh, but not openly gay. They were on the borders of denial yeah, yeah. And, it, and saying the word. See, I think a lot of people would be quite surprised at that, because you're... You, you mean because I'm 50s. old? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would have been in the... That would have been... 62, 63 maybe, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, and the young guys. Um, never noticed any girls, but obviously they were there. Um, but in our, and that was in one class. So the people who are probably watching this might be people who are like LGBT themselves or the dad or parent of them. Is there anything that you'd want to say either to like the kids or to the parents about like coming out to your parents kind of thing? Well, for parents, I think it's a case of don't judge your children. Let your children be themselves. Um, the thing that probably stops them coming out is the way you've spoken about gay people, reading about them on TV, out in the street, on the films. Let your kids be themselves and support them. You've supported them up until they're 12 or 15 or whatever age they're coming out to you at. 25 or whatever, uh, go the extra mile, you know, support them again. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, yeah, go back some <laughs> Anything else you want to say? Got some good content. Uh, just to say that my kids are brilliant. <laughs> I'll take the money now. Yeah, let me thanks. Uh, we'll do it off camera, thanks. <laughs> Get the bribe in. We'll probably baked you some bread today. 
Oh, cheesy. Yeah. Oh, great. Cheese and onion. Oh, even yeah. better. So yeah, that was just my dad's um, thoughts about coming out and coming out to parents and stuff like that. Um, I'm actually going to make a video at some point about like my full coming out story, like how I worked out in myself, how I sort of did this weird coming out thing to parents, friends, stuff like that. Um, uh, so look out for that soon. Uh, and until I see you next time, bye. Bye.